What's up everybody watching on their computer, smartphone, tablet, or TV? This is Andy and welcome back to another edition of Andy Plays. Okay, so first of all I want to address the echoing problem with last week's episode. So last week's episode, I'll go into the specifics. So Many of you noticed there was an echoing issue. Um, it has a lot to do with my hardware, with my Steel Series headphones connected to the um, my Fin Capture card that I'm using. So that got resolved as long as the microphone part of the headset's not in. That's what matters at this point. We don't need any more crazy echoing like there was before. Oh boy, imagine if uh, that happened again. <laughs> we don't need that. Trust me, that would um that would entail a lot more chaos. So the Steel Series microphone is off. The computer's USB microphone is fully working as you're hearing. You're hearing my audio crystal clear, crystal sound, so nothing to worry about this week. So this week Apparently, EA is being very generous. So we're going to play a full game of Madden 23 this week. Now, I would hope that I'm going to get the full edition probably for my birthday. And, um, you know, we don't have to really do anything else. So, the demo really hasn't updated itself. Look at that. Okay. So we're going to play the Dolphins taking on the... Buffalo Bills, which is surprisingly one of the best games we have this week. The other good game to look forward to is um, coming up at 4 o'clock Eastern. We got the big Packer versus Buccaneer game. Tom Brady taking on the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. So where are the Buffalo Bills? There they are. So we're going to do the Dolphins. I guess we'll do 15 minutes. We don't want an accelerated clock, please, because that's the last thing we need. <laughs> so. So I guess we're going to do the accurate forecast for Miami. Since apparently that is the situation we're looking at for Sunday. As um, are you? many of you are aware by now, there may be a hurricane that might hit Florida sometime this upcoming week. So let's just pray for our viewers down in Florida who um, may get impacted by the potential hurricane expected. But in any regard, here we go. Stadium in Miami, Florida. <laughs> So I want to see if I'm going to get the ball first. That's what I'm curious about. And that is a loud, loud horn. Very, very loud. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got an AFC East matchup between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go to the uh, Gus getting the ball first. And I'm not going to quit till we get that to work. Okay, I don't know what's going on here, but if it doesn't work out like that, then let's just get the offense first. Because, uh, please, I'm not in any mood to, you know, no surprise. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets Let's see to what Toya over. does. Very nervous, but I think he can do a good job. 
Because Talia did very well against the Ravens last week. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Woo, look at Tyreek. Yeah, I know the run pass. Right. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. And to the left side here. Wilson. Oh boy. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Look how successful that was. Because remember, Lamar and Toya, they run the same RPO offense. So it's like you know look how quick that was so I'm gonna run it very quick drive down here very impressed with my offense for the first time with Raheem Mostert. So and this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially the Dolphins are looking for a 3 0 start. Bills are looking for a 3 0 start. So that's why you have a very interesting appeal into this game, of course. So I might as well just take the sack. Oh my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> Former defensive back. Let's see if Tyree can get the touchdown. Here. I hope everybody can hear my smile on that play. He is gonna well, wishful here. thinking, but Tyree got the and first and goal. The opening drive, it continues, Charles, to be all pass, and it's working. Now they're on the doorstep of a touchdown here, first and goal. Brandon, because it's working so well, I think the entire playbook it's is some extra right offensive now. line protection. Do you, want to it? Do you want to continue to throw it? Spin the dial, make your choice. But right now, you like what you're doing in this possession. Okay. And he just throws this one away. As to be Smart expected, that was conserved. And it brings up second down. They come up here with another shot from the six yard line, and it's second and come on. Ooh, could have got past that one last defender. That's the problem. He got me. He, that was a good blitz. Guess we'll try it again. See what happens. Get Tyreek into the end zone. Okay. Tyreek almost got in. Well, not Tyreek. Toya almost got in. <laughs> okay. I think I know what I want to do. Not go on read option. That's stupid. So, looking for the QB one. I want Toya to sneak it in. He could sneak this in. Be a very successful drive. Tua gonna run the sneak. Try to wedge his way in there. No signal. Oh, look at that. He, he did it. We couldn't they get it in. Sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. Oh boy. Please do not tell me the Bills are just gonna cream us. So the football. So I guess I'll try the read option. I'm kind of curious how this will happen. But we'll see. And they'll begin by running the option. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there were. That was good that we got in the near the end. The still, I mean, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's Look, out of the bounds. Dolphins. Should be a playoff team this season, as I've said. I definitely see a situation, and especially with the first two weeks, even if Miami somehow loses this game, the Dolphins are going to be in a very, very good spot. Look how they came back against the Ravens last week. They have a pretty good chance. Look at that. So I'm going to let the clock run down since uh, 
it's the end of the quarter. But at least we're going to get the ball back to begin the second half. So, we'll let this clock run down, and then we'll call a play coming up. 14 nothing the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So first and ten now. Midfield coming up. Now let's see what happens here. Okay. Up the middle they go with Moster. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. Three yards on go. that last carry. Here's second and seven. Two are gonna throw. They'll roll him out right. Ooh! Almost got picked. That would have been bad right there. Don't want to get picked in that situation. Oh, and I got sacked. Oh, where is my offensive line? Gregory Russo drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone. The, 20. the Dolphins at the line ready oh, for their next drive. Try to go for a big play. And a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they Can't stay the positive. Coach. <laughs> but at the same That's time, you're right how there. are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Oh. Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball. I'm going to try to run it now. If you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On second down, Moster trying to bounce it outside. Yeah, I got to say, this Bill's defense is just... Scrimmage. Calling Jeez. no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Rolling and I'm only right. rooting for Toya because his family member, one of his family members, is, gonna be able to is the current quarterback the for the Maryland Terrapins. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, oh, there great. was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect them to close so quickly. And Trying to find a good they play on special time, teams. And now that forced him to make a decision with this fourth down call. Oh, here we go. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. And it's a fake here on fourth And I got the first. They only get four, but the fake punt works and gets him a first down. Had to do something. Slide my offensive line to the left. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. On a jet sweep, here comes Waddle. And some room to maneuver. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy. Look how smart that was. A nice gain of 21 yards. I think the reason this play is so successful is not just the blocking at the point of You gotta see how good that is. Right there. He takes the hand off. He's emotional. And mind you, these two are gonna play again in Buffalo later this season. This isn't the first time we're going to see these two match up. So here we go. Tyreek's going to get a chance to do the jet sweep. Can he do something? He did this in Kansas City with Pat Mahomes. Now Tua just going to bat this forward on the end around. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Look how smart that was. another first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it up. Huh, so L2 and R2. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the team. Uh, the and he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Look at that. To a tug of Iloa. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have got it back to within a score. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes the... First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Wow, what a throw. And they've got it well across. 
across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. <laughs> And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So the big play moves him all the way across. There we go. The big play coming up. Now for first and ten. Now Waddle on the jet sweep. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Working with a second and three. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. They'll get three. Well, that was his first continues. rush today. It's a first down. From the gun, it's Tua. Steps away. Caught by Wilson. And he'll be marked and down. Look at right that. That was -yard line. almost under pressure right there. Okay, here we go. With Mostert, and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. He'll buy some time right. Oh, almost got picked. Complete. Daylight in front if he could have held on, but he didn't. So instead, it's second down. Now Tua sliding out of the pocket. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, Ooh, yes. with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds the defense. Instead, he thought to himself, I'm a quarterback. I've got to throw it. He bailed out the defense with that incompletion. So fourth down, two and departs, and on is Jason Sanders. Gonna call a timeout. Field goal unit. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on from the left half. Should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Sanders. And that was smart to do good. that. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Oh boy, I got a chance to do something here. I'm trying to go for a field goal. Polluting the pressure right. And two are going to slide to a halt, but he will have the first down. First down now, but that clock rolling. Looking to pass to him. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. That was an interesting look. I want to be smart here. As as he Remember, I want my kicker to get a good chance to get less pressure right here. Who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him okay. from taking off. And made him try and a good chance to get the field goal. Let it clock down. And we'll call the timeout. Four, three, timeout. That's good clock management down. right there. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Sanders that was very good. good. That will do it. Down Miami. All right, so I can run plenty of offense drive. here. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? Look at that. That was, again, now learn about clock management in today's NFL. And if you can't do it well, that's how you lose these, these games. As well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. I'm gonna go for the big boy play. On play action. Here's Tua. We better throw it. I was about to get hit. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Smart. After Don't want to do anything dumb there. Is second and ten. They'll swing this complete out to Hill. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. An extra defensive back here for the Bills. Please tell me down. I'm not going to waste this. 
And again, it's Tug of Iloa. And I got picked. And he'll get this back to the 32 yard line. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. So the offense back out now, coming off its first interception of the game the last time out, trying to reestablish some... some and I got hit again. Trailing defensively, maybe these guys smelling the blood in the water a little bit. Yeah, I think that they probably are, but what they need to do right now is just make sure they don't force the action too much themselves. They've got them on the run a little bit. You just want to be in a position where if they make another mistake, you're there to capitalize. And Tyreek! And take it away from them. And way up past the 35. 20 yards. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. But just a simple tap pass, but it, it pays off in a big way. Look how Sometimes smart that the was. Stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't Gotta say that that's away, impressive it right there. Into a nice play. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he'll get it out of the field. Look at that. Four yards the pick up, first down. Throwing now is Tug of Iloa. That's caught Waddle on the left side. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. A big play there on the catch and run. I'm to say the offense is starting to wake up here. Downs. On first down, Tug of Iloa escaping the pressure right. Oh, that, be that was so close. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine okay. with that, and they force another incompletion. Get Mostert had a pretty there, so decent run there. Seven ahead. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Being chased out left. Montoya. And he's not able to get away. Sacks back at the 22. Micah Hyde comes flying in from safety for the sack. And this down. Then try to go for a fake. Continued on that play. This poor quarterback. He's not received the protection he needs. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's gonna throw. Oh, and he got hit. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. I'm gonna try something there, but. This offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. I think Toya's getting tired. The handoff. Now Tua. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Third quarter. This was bound to happen. This is second and 10. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Good. Oh, no. Oh, we got it? But it was incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Look at that. Dolphins have made two good catches today. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. They'll roll him out right. And this one takes out of bounds. Right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And that is incomplete. Boy, oh, did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play to I gotta go for it because we're down by so down. much. There's no way we can punt. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. Out to his left. left side Another side good catch. Looks like he's got it. They go for it on fourth down, and it pays off big time as they pick up 29. 
So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Two and a throw again. Flush to oh, no! See what I mean? My offensive down. line just keeps failing me today. To Where is my offensive line? That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Flushed out right. This throw nearly intercepted. Oh, the big D lineman almost had it. But third down coming up. Yep, the Dolphins coaching staff must be thinking to themselves. Why? Third down. Eluding the pressure right. We'll go out to the flat for Edmonds. And he's gonna be taken Look down. How smart right that was. Okay. Line. I don't want to punt from here. No. Dumb, stupid. Let the clock run out. And then we'll figure out something. Because we can't we can't punt from here. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. And it's on EA Sports. And we got the first. Good. Look at those numbers. 301 yards, but no throwing touchdown today. As happened before in this league. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the Look how smart that was. Come on, Toya. Now we'll run straight ahead with Edmonds. And they'll bring him down at the 18 yard okay. line. Okay. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry. We're going to go to the huddle up. Second and five now. Tua on the move to his left. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Vailoa. It's a first down. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game. I'm trying to see if Tyree can get the big touchdown here. I think he's due. Continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. Nope. Zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Quarterback in 101. Never force the ball into double coverage. Especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight. You just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Come on, Tyreek. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds, right at the three. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Looking to throw. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six yard line. Daquan Jones fighting his way home to get the We're we'll trying to go for the field goal. Down, the goal was accomplished. Get the field Jason goal Sanders and then take it from there. Sanders' kick is good. And that'll make this an eight point game. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Okay. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. I lost the yards. Please, and they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points yeah. on the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. They get 11 back on that one. I'm trying to, to get my down. full back to get this Nick first down. Just point trust point me. The backfield in this one. And an old nice play example. that John this Madden loved to run with. He's able to pick his way down so let's see if it'll work. Nice game there. And, let their full and it works. And, push the and he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards. Remember, you do those fullback runs when you know you're a yard short of picking up the first down. Look at that. It's going to be a good drive here. I have a good feeling about this. They're going to look to throw. Come on, come on, come on. 
Touchdown! Touchdown! Look at that! We're gonna go for the two. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from the wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go for two. And I'm really nervous about going for two because we need this touch, we need this two point. Okay, here we go. I'm really nervous. Two are gonna try and throw for it, escaping the pressure. Oh, yeah, didn't get the two. Oh. Okay, but look, we got the touchdown, and, and if we get another possession and hold the, the Bills down, we can defense. win the game on a field goal. That was a big touchdown right there. Big right there. I think it made sense to go for the two. Definitely a did. So I want to try to play some defense here. Okay, here we go. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And Dolph and the Bills are going to take a knee. Return this and it'll be brought out to the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over. Well, I'm here. very nervous. I'm going to yeah, stop Allen here. Extinguished after that last score, but bottom line, they are still on top with the football. Okay. This drive would really that was bound to happen. A. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. They will find Davis. They're going to. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the Man, yeah, this Bills defense, back this Bills offense again, who can't stop them? Down. They'll run on first down with six. Okay, turn. good. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around. At least we're holding Singletary to a decent stop. Singletary's a pretty good running back. Singletary again. And he's down right around midfield after a game. Okay, we're able to stop him. So we're going to go blitz. They've converted five times in their many chances. Why to get Allen and pressure him here? From midfield, here's Allen. This one caught by Davis. And they're able to work this across. Okay, good. Completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. Here's Sam I mean, Allen might have done that on purpose. So far. They can be pretty smart here. And out of bounds, sailed over, looked like right oh, near the no. pylon. This one's going to be perfect. Directional oh, kicking God. at its finest, right down at the one yard line. The field position game often so overlooked, but this offense is going to be backed up deep. What an ideal punt. And now, this stage of the game, when they need the drive to try and put themselves in a position to win it, we talk about going the long field, the very long field. This could be a 99-yard drive if they're able to accomplish it. Flip the offense. See if that might do something here, but i got all my timeouts to work with. Okay, so now we're in a very good spot here. I think I'll run it again, and then we'll try to go for a deep play. We've gotten lucky before, and I want to focus on getting a field goal. That's how we're going to win this football game. I don't want to focus on getting the touchdown necessarily. We can get the field goal. Yeah, we win this pro. football game. Let's see if we can get a big. Yes! All right, so now we can just run the clock down and try to get near the near field goal range. That's the big throw we needed there. Big throw. Big throw. Edmonds running out of the shotgun. Okay, he couldn't get past the pile, but hey. Better than nothing there, so let's just focus on some short passes. You don't want to go big with Tyreek. Oh, we're just going to get the touchdown and then let the Dolphins and then let the Bills get another chance. No. 
That's going to be caught. Come on. And they'll get him down on the and side of midfield. And here we are. I mean, it would be more ideal to just, you know, be careful here, but I'm going to run the football. You need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Okay, play type. Pitch. We're gonna try a pitch Joe here and, and go from there. Buffalo territory at the 49-yard line. Here's a toss play right to Moster, and a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped. No, well, that was line. better than nothing. I think He'll we gotta pass it. There and it's second and 11. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your line. We're gonna pass it. Set the edge. Might as well try something. Keep the clock from running. Field. Here's Tua. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he'll be taken down after a pickup. All right, I want to go for one more first down and then go from the there. Because again, you don't so want the you don't want the Bills to get in, another possession. You want to be careful here. From here. So if I tied it, I would have been like, okay, move. no big deal. You can run the normal offense and then try a touchdown here, but no. Right. Okay. Two to throw. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And Good job. We're now in field goal range. I'm gonna try some short passes, you know. Guess we'll try the read option. See if Tell you I can do something here on it. But. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line. That of was not a good idea no to do that, but better than nothing at this point. Second and ten. Tua. And they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line here. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Okay, well, I'm going to try to get the first down somehow, in some way, because I have a mobile quarterback that can handle this. Here's Tua. Flush to his right. Throw it. Throw it. Oh, boy. I think we're going to have to try to just go for the field goal. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me... Let's think along with their offensive coordinator now as to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about right, that. Right, you don't want to be too premature. you got a big defensive stop here. You know Buffalo's going to try to do something. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. They're going to get out of here with a victory. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Josh Allen in the offense now. Down by one. 46 This is the game right here. You got to hold them. Okay, good. We pressured Allen. But for Tyler Bass, he's going to need 41 yards to kick the field goal. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Allen. He gets this complete to Diggs, and they'll get it all the way up. About they go no huddle. Call the timeout. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Yes, that way it'll confuse the it will confuse the Bills, and then hope for a miracle here because I'm going to try to ice the kicker with my last timeout. No way! No way! 
picked up by Javon Holland. Pick six! Wow! Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one. That is crazy. I'm gonna go for the two and seal this one up. Wow. Just wow. And I get the two. Good. That is just crazy how I got lucky there. What a big pick six. To the house. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a scale oh, no. for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better I mean, I've pretty much won this game anyway. We'll see if they go back to base. Here's Allen. He's going to let it fly. And, this is and that's the game. And that should do it. Picked up by Keon Crossett. Well, it wasn't always pretty. I might as well just call my last time out. Should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. Gotta take a knee, and I won the football the game. Room. Big win right there. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going wow. to keep that game Wow, just a crazy ball. ending. Was sensational. What a change in this ball game in the fourth quarter, Charles. They just completely took over, and not only did they get the lead, what a big defensive stop. Somewhat comfortably. And when we spent time talking with them before the game, they made sure that we knew that they thought that they were the better team in this. 454 one. yards for Toya. Lost that focus, and they played like it in the fourth quarter. That's how you author a late comeback and get a win. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida. And of course, that's going to mean so long from yours truly. So uh, that's how we're going to wrap up the month of September, it looks like. I don't know what October will entail other than we're going to go back to Uncharted next week. So stay tuned for that gameplay next Sunday, October 2nd. So with that being all said, thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Andy Plays. We do these each and every Sunday. Make sure if you are new here to hit the subscribe button if you want to watch more episodes. Hit that little bell notification thingy or whatever it is. That way you are notified when I am, of course, posting videos. Also, one big announcement. If you want to be notified on Discord when I post new videos, please check the Discord invite link in the description below. I'm officially announcing that as of this week. You'll be notified when I post all my videos on Discord as well. So go join the Discord server. That's very important. There'll be a bot in there that will tell you, Hey, I've uploaded a video on YouTube. So with that being all said, thank you all very much for watching. And until the next one, please take care.